Hey everyone, welcome back to the outpost and up here at the cabin. Um, thought today would kind of be a fun day since, you know, everybody around the world's going through a whole lot. Um, I decided that I would go ahead and work on this uh, second sawhorse, mill that up. Then I brought some steaks and so forth. I figured I'd go down, we'd cook those up and maybe whittle a little, little bit on a fork. I made a spoon not long ago. I need a fork. Um, I do have a wooden spatula, but I need a fork. So thought we might work on that. As you can see, I got those holes drilled. So now I'm going to go over there and pick up the logs that I had uh, cut the other day and bring those in here and see if we can't make some legs for this one. Yeah, it rained early this morning as I left work and uh, lots of thunder and rain and wind. I rushed up here to see if I had any uh, damage, you know, trees blown down, but I didn't, thank goodness. So since it's all wet and everything, I figured we'd just make this, like I said, a fun day and uh, catch up on some more uh, things that I actually need, but that are undone. So anyway, let me run over here and get these logs and I'll be right back. I didn't know if you could hear because that wind is really getting up so I figured I would move the camera in between the doors uh, so we didn't have that terrible wind sound. So I picked this broom handle up uh, at the trash and I thought you know that's good wood so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a couple of holes in there to hold this stick that way I can uh, shave a longer log than in there on the vise and so I'll cut me some lengths about like this and I'm going to drill these holes I'll be able to take them in and out hopefully this is the largest bit I've got it's almost the same size we'll see if it'll work
Well, I managed to get both of the saw horses built. I did drill me some holes in this one to be able to use it to shave down limbs and logs and things like that for whatever I make. And then, of course, I can take them out and I can use them as regular saw horses. So, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill me a couple that will be straight up and down here where I can put something, slide something up to the edge and use it to plane with if I need to. But um, yeah, that's kind of cool. So got me a nice set of saw horses at the right level here to be able to work with. The others, I actually made those little short ones for those uh, post and beam. That way when I set them down, um, I was able to get to them easy to router them out with chisels. Yeah, I think these are going to be nice. Well, so I decided I would come down here to the temporary base camp and uh, cook those steaks I was talking about. So I had this piece of leftover dogwood from when I whittled that spoon. So while that fire is burning and making some coals, I'm going to see if I can... Um, there's a natural crack right here where this is. I may have to kind of split it sideways. Um, I'm going to see if I can do that and probably split up maybe a little bit better than a, about three-eighths of an inch see if I can't whittle a fork out of that while we're sitting here waiting on that
draw this out a little bit right here and then um, start whittling on it. I split this off that's less I have to whittle which it's splitting pretty good see Well, so how's everybody doing in these crazy times? Managed to find any paper goods? <laughs> I hope so. You know, it's kind of fun to come down here and sit and whittle and kind of uh, listen to the sounds of spring. Uh, spring is everywhere. Bradford trees, they started about uh, three weeks ago, actually and the dogwoods are in bloom normally that doesn't happen until april but they've already popped out and spring is on its way well i've got a basic design here see i still left it pretty thick so now I'm going to try to shave down these forks right here and uh, sharpen them up a little bit. Well, I think it's about time to get this dinner on. still frozen. So hopefully they'll thaw out. Uh, a little in the vegetables, give them some flavor. Just about got this. Check it out. Well, it didn't turn out too bad. Put a little sanding on it and it'll even be better. I didn't want to make those too thin because they would break, but they're actually pretty solid because this is dogwood. So, um, I figured that that'll last a while as long as I 
protect the end when I put it in my backpack and uh, get something to uh, cover that end right there it will uh, last a long time I think this one's probably the one that's done the most Okay guys, let's see, try these vegetables, see what they're like. They're good? Yeah, just a little bit pink. Good. And the fork is working out great. To my buddy Scrambled O. Look at them vittles, boy. I don't cook near as good as he does, but, uh, Not bad. Y'all check him out. Some of the latest stuff that he's cooking. Uh, just some crazy stuff. I don't know if he's getting a recipe from a subscriber, but uh, <laughs> it made me laugh. I busted a gut. My friend John that came over uh, and cooked the deer steaks. We're talking about doing a uh, cooking a turkey sometime in April, so that'll be exciting to uh, see how he would do that. Not really sure. If you do it the same way you normally do, or if he's got some special way to prepare turkey. But uh, I did call him and talk to him. He said, "Yeah, it sounded like it'd be a lot of fun." Hopefully, this time his son Nick can come up with him. It can be even with this footer as long as it's sloped in that direction of the drain. So, like I say, I've got a rock wall going in here anyway. I'm going to put a membrane behind that and come out so it won't be able to uh, get back in there. So I hope you enjoyed the time today that we spent on that sawhorse, getting that put together. Now I have a pair of them. Uh, cooking down there the uh, steak and whittling out that fork, that was a lot of fun. Um, kind of cleaning off that footer. Like I said, I determined that I've got to take out a couple of high spots over there. I'm going to go ahead. It's sun's fixing to go down over that ridge. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, please don't forget about our uh, giveaways. We do that in appreciation for your support. My son and I were so thankful for each and every one of you guys who have subscribed and are supporting the channel. Thank you so much. So hope everyone has a great evening. 
Take care and look forward to seeing you up here at the cabin at the outpost in the future.